walking bass country. That's what we're going to talk about today. I've got 10 songs for you that have walking bass lines that you want to learn, you want to know, and add to your repertoire because they are great songs to know. They're great bass lines, and you want to emulate these guys. If you want to play country and you want to be an effective, uh, good country player, then you want to learn play like these guys do. So I've got 10 songs here today that we're going to cover those. And then later on, I'm going to break these down in 10 different videos that will cover these bass lines, and you can learn them. If you have issues with getting them, I'll we'll break those down for you. So that's what we're going to do today. And if you're new here, I'm Donald Witt, the bass instructor of the How to Play Bass online course at IWantToPlayBass.com. Jump over there, subscribe, become a member for free, and get well on your way to reaching your bass playing goals once you sign up. And this is I Want to Play Bass, your YouTube channel, Everything Bass Guitar. Hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. Get in the loop. Don't miss a beat. Lots of good guitar stuff here, bass guitar stuff here that you want to know, that you need to know. So we're talking about 10 songs. Now they're in random order. It's not, you know, it's not one's not better than the other. They're all great songs. They're all top-notch great songs. So number one is one of my favorites, Willie Nelson, On the Road Again. Listen to that bass line. Great bass line. I'll break that down for you in one of the other videos. Let me know what you think. So that's On the Road, again, by Willie Nelson. Great song. Number two is by a classic, classic country guy that in the 70s that almost went, it was kind of almost pop, you know. Country was borderline at pop, and, you know, it's just become a big thing then. And it almost, and then it stepped back again, back to the classic country, the traditional country music. And now, today, it's gone kind of poppy as well. So this was back in the 70s. It's Glen Campbell and it's Southern Nights. Great song, great bass line, as a lot of his songs do have great bass lines. They're kind of funky and they're just real good. So that's going to be Southern Nights by Glen Campbell. Number three is a great one as well. Great songwriter, George Strait, and it's Amarillo by Morning. A great bass line. Listen to it. You know, sit down and try to learn it. Help your ear training out. Practice learning it on your own and just go there but once you do learn it like i said i'll be breaking it down then you can play along and see hey was i right or was i wrong because there's you might be a half step off or something like that it's kind of it's hard to tell bass lines are hard to decipher and a lot of times they get so down in the mix that they're just kind of not clear so you know it's a little difficult but you know with practice and time lots of practice lots of practice and repetition you can get there so number four is another glenn campbell tune like I said, his bass lines, his whole band, the whole ensemble, everything he did was just was top notch. He was a top notch singer, and he still is um, suffering from um, Alzheimer's. And it's it's sad, but he can still play the music like it was nothing. So it's it's crazy how that is. But yep, it's Glenn Campbell and it's Rhinestone Cowboy, real popular one. This is the one that kind of went to the poppy side of the '70s and. Um, you know, it got kind of poppy, but it's still country song. He's a country singer, and he's just a great guitar player as well. But his bands, it's kind of like Charlie Daniels. His bands were just top-notch, if I haven't said that enough. Top-notch, great bands, great bassist and everything, great bass line. So give that one a listen. So number five, this is a Charlie Rich song. Not um, Lots of great songs came from Charlie Rich, great songwriter, great country songwriter. And this is Most Beautiful Girl in the World kind of your standard classic country song and the bass line is standard to it. it moves around there it walks around it's um it keeps that entire song moving and and it's a great bass line to learn so it's charlie rich and have you seen the most beautiful girl in the world classic country song by far number six this is a johnny lee song and this is looking for love in all the wrong places another classic country song that um you know, if you grew up in the early 80s, late 70s, that's, you know, you heard this song a lot on the radio and a solid song, great bass line as well. Number seven, this is more a of a, this isn't your typical walking bass line. This is a melodic bass line and a, um, definitely the bass in this particular song is playing a lot of the melody and just keeping the song, the punches moving along as needed and it's this is going to be the night the lights went out in georgia the reba mcintyre song and it's great bass line great song she's you know she's got a great ensemble back there with her as well um a lot of her songs are that they're not your standard country songs they are 
um, kind of like the Glen Campbell, right around the poppy side, but real, real popular pop country, I guess you could call it. But it's um the nice the night the lights went out in Georgia, Reba McIntyre, great bass line, and I'll show you that one too. So don't forget to subscribe. All right, number eight is from one of my favorites. This guy's country. You know, when you talk about country, you're talking about this guy as just like Willie Nelson, and um, there's a handful of guys that are just solid country artists and this is Waylon Jennings and it's with Willie Nelson as well and it's Good Hearted Woman. I think it's from The Outlaws from that album. Great bass line, great song, another classic standard right there. Standard country song right there. You want to add these songs to your repertoire because these are standard country songs that everybody plays and everybody knows and they want to hear. So you know in your country ensemble, your country band, these are songs you're going to be playing. Okay so learn these and Hopefully they play them like the song. A lot, so many country bands out there don't play these songs like they are recorded. They kind of just wing it, and you know that's not a good habit to get into. But it happens. So try to learn these songs right and get your band to play these songs along with the album like they should be played. Okay. Adding the dynamics and all the feel in there to really deliver a great product to your audience. Okay, so that is "Good Hearted Woman" by Waylon Jennings and Willie Nelson. Number nine is the classic Merle Haggard song. This is another one that's just there and it's Mama Tried. Great bass line, as all of his songs have great bass lines. Had the, the traditional bass lines, the, the one five, but they're walking all over the place. So that's Merle Haggard songs. I've released a couple other Merle Haggard songs that have great walking bass lines. I'll leave a card up here for you. You can check those out if you want. But that's Merle Haggard and that's Mama Tried. Great song. And number 10, last but not least, is these guys kind of borderline country music. They weren't considered a country artist, but their songs were real close. They were southern rock, but their songs, this particular song is a very traditional country song, and it is, it's great. So these guys were a little different. They were unique, um, real popular, lots of popular songs from these guys, and it is Fire on the Mountain by Marshall, by the Marshall Tucker Band. A lot of times you hear these songs, you don't even know who it is that did it, but that that's kind of surprises you there. Marshall Tucker Band does Fire on the Mountain. So that's that's number 10, another great bass line. So definitely let me know in the comments down below if you want to hear any one of these particular songs first, but if not, I'm just going to break them down that way. On the Road Again will be, be the first video, and then I'll just go right down, right there, um, right from one to 10, okay? And there'll be each video, each each week there'll be a video for that. So definitely subscribe, hit that bell notification, get in the loop and don't miss a beat. And I hope you got some value out of that. If you did, help me help you. Hit that like button and I'll catch y'all on the flip-flop in the next video. So bye for now.